Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing a DIY video for you guys. You guys love my last DIY, which you haven't seen, you should definitely check out. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner. And you asked for more DIY, so here I am filming what you guys want. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make super easy and affordable dad caps or baseball caps. These are totally customizable. These are so cute. They're so easy to make and they're so inexpensive. They literally cost me like under $7, which is insane. So if you like these DIYs and you want more, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also click subscribe down below because I upload it two times a week during the summer and I would love it if you join the fam and with all that said let's go ahead and get started after I've had a few you're turning my insides you're making me sick but you're such a goddamn pro never really know if you're so starting off with the first baseball cap, this one's going to say peachy and it's super cute and totally inspired by the things I've seen on Pinterest and Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville. So starting off, I just need a baseball cap and also some embroidery floss. I'm using the white color for this one, but you can totally choose your own colors. So start off by cutting your embroidery floss to about an arm's length and then just starting it through a needle and tying it off at the end. And then we're going to start on the embroidery, but before that, make sure you have your design laid out. I just used a pencil to draw it on. You can use like a stencil or a picture. And and just copy by hand but I use pencil because it's easy and I'm not that big of a pro on embroidery so you want to first start off by doing a single stitch and this is going to turn into a chain stitch I don't know if that's a proper name but that's how I remember it so if I'm wrong please correct me but basically you're going to start off with a single stitch and then go through the center of the single stitch and do another stitch from there you're just going to repetitively do this motion for all the little letters that you're going to fill in and it's going to look super cool at the end and it's going to give it a really cool texture and I really like how it turns out and this is a little little bit too difficult you can always just do a basic single stitch but I think doing the little loop stitch looks super good and I really like how it turns out so once I'm done with the P I'm just gonna move on to the other letters but you want to just continue and finish this up and then once you're done doing all the other letters make sure you tie off the knot in the back of the hat so that way no one can see it and I just looped a knot on the back of my hat and then I went ahead and I just cut the string So starting off with the second DIY, we're going in with another baseball cap, of course, and this one is just white and we're going to be focusing on the front portion of the hat instead of the back. I use the light blue embroidery floss this time and I also have a needle and thread. So for this, I am going to take some inspiration from Pinterest and I saw this hat I really liked with a super cute logo. So now I'm just going to go in with a pencil and kind of imitate the design. It was just a basic wave and I just used a pencil in case I made any mistakes. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and take some embroidery floss. I'm just using two arms length for this because the wave was a little bit bigger and I wanted to make sure I didn't run out of embroidery floss midway so I just went ahead and I put that on my needle and then I just tied it off and I started doing a single stitch so the stitches I'm gonna do for this are called backward stitches and you'll see what I mean so first off with a single stitch and then move the length of that stitch away and then make another stitch there but move your needle backwards to where the original stitch is and fill in the empty space. So you're basically doing single stitches but moving them backwards so that way they're all in line and there's not any space between them and it looks like one cohesive line. It looks super cool. This is what the finished design looked like and I just continued to do all the stitches until it was complete. super easy hats. I loved how they turned out. I think they're the cutest things and if you recreated or tried them, please make sure to tag me or send me a photo of you doing it on Instagram or Snapchat because I would love to see my Snap and my Instagram are linked down below and you should definitely follow me because I'm active on there too. 
And with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.